Hi, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name, as you may know, is Alec Godwin, and this is a, an entertainment channel. We do music, movies, and um, tech reviews, and much more. Uh, anything entertaining. All right, so um, thank you. Appreciate your time and effort and your contribution and your subscription. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so right now. Um, that out of the way, we are talking about the Fantasil. We already unboxed this stuff. This company claims the magic arm, as it is called. They claim they can, you can have uh, DSLRs, not the so heavy ones, but I mean a reasonable amount. And I'm guessing, I'm hoping the mirrorless will fall in that category. So this is the Canon M50, my little baby, um, with um, not the kit lens. I don't have the kit lens and I'm not getting any of the kit lenses on this camera but instead I have a I have a com light adapter for the EF lenses so um, it's like extra weight right now I want to go ahead to just stretch it and see if indeed it can carry this one which is the 18 to 55 EFS um, millimeters okay all right so the camera body the com light which any photo deals or um, Canon uh, adapter will weigh about the same and then this guy here so we have a pretty decent weight to confirm if this arm can actually do what they say now um, um, to be clear this product I'm reviewing because they sent it to me alright so that out of the way they send it to me uh, it's not a paid advert is not a um, uh, sponsored section but they sent it to me to review it so I am going to review it um, and I'm going to say my honest opinion about it but like I said during the unboxing it is looking really promising because if you feel this the weight of this stuff alone you know it should be able to carry it. so we're going to demonstrate right here first of all and then we're gonna go take a ride and see what how well it does and um, but if I seen it before now I probably have used it in my short movie so I'm gonna try it out and see if I could have used it uh, and then uh, we will all check it out together comes with a clamp which is this but the real celebrity of this item is this guy this this arm so let's test it out and see for sure what we're talking about now there are other stuff uh, along with it other stuff came along with it and uh, this is for phone this is for um, GoPro like stuff you know it's supposed to pass this through. so we're going to try everything you know we're going to try everything and see how well they all hold up so I'm gonna have my phone tested in the car which I know is already gonna I mean I don't even have to do um, reviews for that but I already know just by looking at this stuff and feeling it I know that this is this is a no-brainer for the GoPro it's a no-brainer this is where I want to stretch it and see if indeed it can do that all right so this is basically what I use in shooting my film I use this more um, Helios lens a little bit I use the 50 millimeters a little bit you know all those are lighter than this this is the heaviest I used on set so we're gonna find out if it can carry this one then it's a no-brainer let's see let's see we'll take this guy off this guy i don't think i'll be needing this one let's bring this this one we have a behind this clamp we have a tiny a screw that fit this can fit in yep there's a bigger one i guess this can take um tripod uh, screws i guess two sizes but for on this we're using the smaller I screw that in i think i need a review table 
because my computers are in the way on this one and then it's not a it's not a rectangle or square shape table it's like an L shape table so hey ah hopefully hopefully I get a, a proper review table where I have to put this thing and spread it out and I have a you know a good view of what I'm reviewing okay, you know all right so this guy fits in there now check this out this guy this is where the magic lies um, for most of these devices that I have seen you have to screw you usually have a screw here or something to tighten this uh, ball and make it you know something like this usually have something like this to tighten and make this strong from wavering but on this device well i don't know this is my first time i've seen this it's it the power comes from here so when you tighten when you tighten on this see that this one becomes tight you know this one stays in position so you ought to have put this one in position before you tighten this point all right so let's uh let's go back a little bit and have our camera on it all right we're doing it live um how do i do that now i'm supposed to screw all right let's do this like this all right so all right okay should i have done that first or what yeah i guess so i think you need to put this one first uh because it might give you a little pro bit of problem putting it um maybe we'll go ahead and um tag this all right nope uh, this can stay in place sorry make sure this sticks place stays in place properly well i'm just using the table for now if i get out of the office um yeah so i'm gonna unscrew this one so i get this out, out back the clamp stays in place now i come here and fix this in because it kind of feels like you really don't get this the ability to screw this in from here everything is really like powered from the middle so oh boy okay so i have to tighten this all right here we go so we tighten this so this can be rigid and then that way ah here we go okay so we can articulate this in <laughs> yeah we got it you see you see that it's already it's already doable all right um, you get the gist I believe um, I'll tighten now that I got it like all right, so now we could go oh, man. oh I could take this off yep so I really have to take this I mean, it's, the, it's the better way to go sorry about that um, I'm a little bit clumsy stop all right so this is very very effective you know all right all right so um so we don't have to turn the bigger item let's take out the smaller one and then now this is in place it's ready to accept it won't shake it won't fall over and this guy can come in here and you know all right so So I'm doing this, all this in the office here, so we have an idea how to set it up. When I get into the car, I'll just go set it up and, you know, we won't be going through all these stages again. We'll just take shots and have it, you know, actually see how it records and how it plays out. All right. So, so this is pretty much done. I'll take this off because that's how you use it, right? Take this off and, uh, yep, we're good. So this guy, now if you want to, we'll set this up and then 
go talk to the articulating arm a little bit more the way we want it. So let's uh, I'm gonna clamp it underneath. Make sure you got a good grip area. As long as this thing has got its grip, and we should be good. All right. And then now we can tell this guy to let go, so we can have it to our position. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. It's already holding it. This is good. This is good. Um, I'm only gonna, yeah, get it into position before you tighten. Yeah. So pretty much, let's say this is. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Wow. 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 Okay. Now, um, this it's not the type you you can pine. This is not a dolly or whatever. But this is to hold on. This one, you know, for a DSLR, I haven't seen it. Let me know if you have seen one and how well it works. But this looks pretty good to me. So but that's not the end let's go get uh, a ride in a car and actually get you some shots and see how this thing plays out thank you So let's get back to the studio and get our final conclusion. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Time to give our final verdict. Okay, uh, I think I'd rather go with that one. Hey, welcome back. Time to give our final verdict. Um, um, this is my Zoom camera. Um, I cut this off now. Um, this is my zoom camera so you could man down as well as well as any other GoPro like stuff plus of course we see uh, my Canon uh, M50 is back on the camera stand that's where I'm recording from now and um, so pretty much we had a good uh, flexible adventure with this with the phone and um, of course I didn't get the footage out there in the car with that but you could do this as well uh, this is my go-to backup uh, vlogging or vlogging camera um, so pretty much that's how it's set up so we see that uh, on the whole I'll give my verdict uh, I will give it a five star and that is simply because it does what it says it can do and this grid is really solid you can crack it and make it you know it's got teeth grinding holding on to each other so you can move it to your position awesome what this stuff does so uh, my honest review is uh, um, if you want to get it it's a it's a go-to it's a good one it's a handy and I should have used it for my short movie if I had it there 
so um a little bit late but this is an awesome device i'll put the link below so you could go get it if you need it held up pretty fine it held up pretty fine so that's amazing for me so um i think i stretch it a little bit more so i don't want to give them below the five stars i think they truly deserve that so um fantasy nice job nice job we hope to see more gadgets from you guys and um that's been the review thank you for watching as always if you like this video hit the thumbs up a button to like and um go ahead and comment below tell me what you think of this device just one more okay so that has been the review this thing is off the change this thing is good i give it a five star thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye